Hello, Tom Fresa here from the Naval History and Heritage Command with another Artifact Spotlight. This is where we take a look at the Navy's timeline and pull out different artifacts and teach you about them. And today we are going to be focusing on the uniform of the sailors who manned the U.S. Navy Railroad Gun in World War I. Now the history of the U.S. Navy Railroad Gun is a fascinating one. You see, the Germans, at the beginning of the war, had a railroad gun themselves that could fire 24 miles. And it was hitting towns, uh, uh, crossroads, bridges, and also ports where different supplies were coming in from overseas to head to the front. And it was really detrimental to the Allies. So when the Americans entered the war, the Allied command asked the Americans do you have a gun that could do something like that? And the Americans went to the branch who had the biggest guns at that point, the U.S. Navy, and said, do you have anything that we could use? And the Navy went to the U.S. Naval Gun Factory, Washington Navy Yard, where they were making battleship guns, and asked the designers, could you build something? And the designers thought about it and said, well, yeah, we can. We can build one of these guns. And... The guns themselves were actually spare 14-inch barrels that were placed on railroad cars. And not only did they build these guns, but they also built the cars and the engines that went along with them. They worked with the uh, Baldwin Locomotive Works up in Philadelphia to manufacture all of these guns. And from first design to when they first fired in France, it was only 230 days. That is extremely quick turnaround time when you think about it because it's design, manufacture, testing, and then shipping everything over to France, reassembling the guns in all of the cars, and then getting them into battery. And yes, I did say guns because there were five guns that were shipped over to France and saw service. So 230 days, very, very quick turnaround time. And one of the questions that's always asked is, who manned these guns? Well, who was manning these guns aboard the battleships of the time? Sailors. So why not have sailors manning these guns in France? So the Navy did have boots on the ground with the U.S. Navy railroad guns, and they were sailors. And the uniform that you see beside me is mostly reproduction. There are some original bits, but if you look at it, You'll notice it's an army uniform. That's because the Navy did not have a specific combat uniform for the sailors. So they had to draw their uniforms from army supply. And if you look at the photos very closely, you'll see that, again, they are army uniforms. They have the, uh, uh, the helmet, gas mask bag, the tunic that they have has the standard U.S. Army buttons. But if you look very closely, you'll notice that they stitched their rates on the sleeves to make sure everybody knew that while they looked like doughboys, they were still sailors. And these guns were highly effective. They were able to counter battery fire the German guns and they themselves could fire 24 miles and were hitting behind the German lines, railroad depots, bridges, towns, and they actually helped disrupt a lot of German attacks. And in fact, they were some of the last guns firing on the very last day of the war. They actually timed one of the shots to, when they fired it, it would land at the exact moment that the war ended on November 11th, 1918. And with that, if you're interested in learning more, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next Artifact Spotlight.